Hey, Mr. Unit, you excited? Whoa! <laughs> I've been working for Animal Welfare League for three years now, and I'm just so privileged to be able to do a job that's also my passion. While every dog here is special in their own way, some of these dogs do get under your skin and you want to be there to hold their paw the entire way. I call those dogs my heart dogs. Tina is ready to come down when you're ready to pick her up. That'll be up in a couple of minutes. Thank you. It's really bittersweet to say goodbye to a favourite dog, but it is just the most incredible feeling to see them and wave them off and know that they're going to live their best life. Yay, good boy! Yeah! Beautiful day for... A dog. Our forever dog. Yes, our fur baby. <laughs> Mum Leanne, daughter Zali and stepdad Adam are on the hunt for the perfect pooch. Ah, this is nice. Comfy. Very yeah. Comfy. Are you going to cushion? Yeah, I'm going to cushion. Put a cushion behind you. My hair. Welcome to Animal Welfare League. My name is Viola and I'm assuming we're all family. Yeah. We're all family, yeah. yeah we yeah. are the Youngs and the yeah. Beersleys. Oh, you're the Cincinnatos. Young Cincinnatos. <laughs> and the Cincinnatos. Okay, that's three names. <laughs> yeah, yeah three-name family. <laughs> We've been together for almost 18 years now. Yeah. yeah. My 40th birthday, I had karaoke party and something just clicked. Yeah. I saw this different look in your eyes, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, after a few drinks. I don't know, it was, yeah, it was the alcohol, I think. <laughs> what do you do for work? I'm a hairdresser. I've got my own salon. So do we need a long hair dog for you guys? I wouldn't mind a dog with a bit of fur. Yeah, a little yeah, bit? Yeah. Not too much shedding? Yeah. Oh, look, yeah. we're used to shedding. Yeah. We had a dog oh. that shed quite a lot. Yeah. There's tumbleweeds all over the house. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> we need a dog in our lives. We need a dog back in our family. We all do. Yes. Collectively and individually, we, we all need a dog in our lives. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are we? Good day. My name is Taylor. I'm Brianna. And I hear we're after a dog. Yes. 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 Yeah. How long yeah. have we been waiting for a dog? Oh, 10 months, maybe. <laughs> OK. Yes, yeah, so we've been planning for a while. I have. We have been. OK. Yeah. He Convincing has. Dad. Ah. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so why is now no right time? Um, just clicked over 12 months since we lost uh, our last dog. I'm sorry. So uh, it's taken that long for me to, you know, I said, look, give it 12 months and then I'll think about it. This is Ruby, not long after we got her as a pup. She lived to be 13 and she was the most gentle, loving, intelligent, friendly dog you could ever meet. And I loved her. So Ruby was an Australian Shepherd, a tricolour red. Nice. Um, she was quite active. Uh, I walked with her a lot and she kept active right, really, um, right up until she went. Ruby and Adam had a very special bond. They were like best pals. They would do almost everything together. So I've been in a year of mourning, really, for Ruby, but um, you can't grieve forever. Yeah, so, looking forward to finding uh, our forever dog. <laughs> mm. We're looking for a dog that is able to be active, but still the ability to just chill and be calm. We rent where we are. Right, yeah. So the owner was OK as long as it was a mature dog. Perfect. Do you have any favourite dog breeds? Yes. Australian. <laughs> Australian Shepherds. Australian Shepherds, OK. Yeah. Border Collie. Yeah. Collie, so you like the sort of working breeds? Yeah. Are we looking for a dog that wants to get in the water, um, go to the beach? Don't want a dog that stays in water all day. <laughs> OK. Labrador or no something. No fish, no <laughs> 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 We've got a really lovely family and they really like working breeds. Yep. They are renting. Okay. So nothing under two. What are you guys thinking? I was thinking, since we have got Kelpie Coda. Nah, look at her face. 
Oh, she's so gorgeous. She's very playful, she's a working breed, um, and she'll need an owner who's ready to put the time in to train her. Definitely. Because we can be a bit crazy sometimes. Um, she's affectionate and very friendly. Only thing is, she's only eight months old. Yes. And could be obviously too energetic. She's definitely still in puppyhood. Do you yeah, have any okay. older working breeds? We do have beautiful Ellie. Yeah. Oh, she's a husky. Husky, husky cross retriever, apparently. She's a two year old female. She's looking for an active family. Energetic and cheeky girl, <laughs> smart pooch, she will need ongoing training. Yeah, I definitely love Ellie. She gets so much enjoyment from playing with her toys and just being in the water. Yeah, I think she'll make them really happy. All right. All right, Thank All right you Ellie, so. it is. We think we found you the perfect dog. Yeah. Perfect dog. <laughs> She's so perfect. And her name is Ellie. She's a husky cross. Oh, yes. my <laughs> God. <laughs> Have you had a, any experience with a husky before? No. They're quite the special breed and Absolutely. one of my favourites as well. <laughs> I love huskies. <laughs> That's They're great. so beautiful. Well, I feel like you guys are going to have your flawless hair. <laughs> I'm being hair design, so will the dog. I think it'll be a great mix. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, how wonderful. Would you like to meet Miss Ellie? We would love to. Oh, we'd love yes, to. Please. OK, yeah. let's go. He's a husky. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, wow. Hi, baby. Excited on the licking mat. Ellie is a very bubbly, energetic baby. Loves the water. Loves playing with toys. And she's a bit of a yodeler as well. Which is pretty typical for huskies. Ellie does struggle a little bit being in her kennel. She's got a huge amount of energy. <laughs> We do as much as we can, but it's nothing like being in a home environment and having people there all day, giving her as much attention as possible. She's a cuddly, beautiful baby. How could you not love her? I will let her come to us. It's all about the dog. Life is so much better with the dog. Oh, this is nice. Oh, look at the, the water. Oh, I've got to <laughs> take one look at that and jump straight in. I work for a disability organisation and from time to time I would take Ruby into the group homes and Sally came with me uh, occasionally. I can't believe that thing. As soon as all the clients saw Ruby, they were like, oh my gosh, like they just, they loved her. And they would just come to life. The change would just be miraculous. I'm looking forward to doing that again, hopefully. Just have that ready. <laughs> I love dog came and dogged you totally. <laughs> so Ruby will be a very hard act to follow. We did have the perfect dog. Ellie, come on, my love. Meet some new people. Oh, Ellie. The time has come. Get straight in. Look at you, Ellie. Hmm? Oh, something's coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, something's coming. On the way to meet a potential new family is two-year-old Husky Cross Ellie. How good are you, Ellie? Oh, look at Adam. He's smiling so big. So she's your typical husky. She takes a little bit of time to warm up to people. Are you guys comfortable if I take her off a little? Yeah, awesome. She definitely can be aloof at times, so we'll see, you know, what she brings to the table, but hopefully she gives them a bit of that affection. Ellie. <laughs> this dog would be for me just to have that missing piece back. Ellie. Something just feels off without a dog in the house. Hello. Come here. Run. <laughs> yeah. When I get home, I sometimes think that my old dog, Ruby, she's actually still there. Do want a treat? I would love to have another dog to greet me at the door and just give it a big cuddle. Hello. Hello. You are a gorgeous girl, aren't you? Hi, oh, girl. Awesome. She goes, I will sit for you. Good girl. Hello. Oh, oh, that's cute. That was a really good initial bond. 
<laughs> is she growling? Yeah, it's just play, play growl, which is good. Look at her. Oh yeah. Who's been off? Jeez. You strong, girl. She is too, but she still has some puppy tendencies. <sighs> yes. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. That's great, Billy. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think Adam's smitten. I'm not sure about Leanne and Zali. Ellie. Come here. Ellie. Do you know your name? The girls don't look impressed at all. Yeah, I don't know about the energy if it's too much for them. Come on, Ellie. You're beautiful. She's not very affectionate, though. I'm like so excited. <laughs> We're gonna play it cool. Yeah, it'll be fine. Annika and Evie are in search of their first dog to help the transition into a new phase of life. I'm feeling like I'm wildly underprepared, but I yeah, think that's no, probably I, a good like, thing. I'm like I'm at a job interview. It's like you haven't <laughs> studied for the exam and you're like, oh, it's too late now. Who have we got today? Oh, my name's Annika. Lovely to meet you. And this is Evie. I'm Evie. Hi. Nice to meet you. And tell me, what is the relationship? Are you guys friends? Are you sisters? Are we... Well, Talk that's to how it started. We were friends. Yeah. <laughs> we went to the same high school, actually. Oh, okay. And we kind of, like, afterwards became mates and yeah. lived together last year. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, in the last, what, 10, 11 months, we've been dating. Girl, the way you're looking at each other, I should have guessed it. Yeah. <laughs> I should have guessed it from the get-go. We just are so different. Evie's a bit more high-functioning and on time. She's thought all the thoughts that need to be thought. Mm -hmm. And I'm more of a, oh, it's time to leave, is it? Cool. Like, let's jump in the car and go. Um, Opposites attract, I'd say. Yeah. <sighs> let's do it. Putting this family through their paces is two-year-old Husky Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> I'd laugh if you fell in the pond, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh, Zuby. Oh, my God. She's crazy. She's so funny. She's getting really playful now, isn't she? Yeah. Come on. I do wonder if Ellie's energy is going to be too much for them because the fact that she hasn't stopped and she's been playing the whole time. Yeah, really. <laughs> Far out, she's nimble. Oi. <laughs> Oh dear, don't hurt yourself. They did say that they want that perfect mix of active but then can also settle. I wonder if that could be a bit of a deal breaker if they have go, go, go she is all the time. Yeah. yeah. Come here. Ellie. Oh, good. good. Calm down. See how easy it was to calm her down then? I think Adam could really help everyone understand her energetic levels that she can go up really high but that they can come back down. And hopefully, you know, Adam can get rid of that energy and then the girls get the cuddles later on. Yeah. OK. Sit. Sit. Good, Good, Good girl. girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm just look you. Hey. I really think if it was up to Adam, he would take her straight away. But I think, I think Zali's going to have a pretty big say into this, I reckon. Yeah. Tricky one. Absolutely. In that sense. Hi, guys. Hi. How'd you go? Good. Fantastic. Yeah. So who would like to walk her? Zali. Zali? Yeah, I will. Yeah? All right. Awesome. You go first. No I'm really now hoping Zali has a chance to interact with Ellie. Come on, Zali. You got underneath her legs, Zali. <laughs> yeah, she loves going for walks. I'm a bit unsure about Ellie. I think I was expecting more of a connection. You know, it's not just about us, it's about giving Ellie an opportunity to a better life. She's not so bad. I mean, she's not completely out of control. Come on, Ellie. AWL matchmakers Taylor and Nick are ready to make some doggy dreams come true. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Annika. Annika. And Evie. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. OK, and who will the dog be for? It's my dog today. Yes. Is this your first dog? It is. I mean, it's dramatic. I'm becoming a mother. Yeah, you're becoming Russia. a parent. So what does your dream dog look like? 
just be probably a medium sized dog, you know, and like be very social. Something that's got a bit of like energy and you can train it because I want to invest the time and the love into something that needs it. So why did you decide to get one now? What's changed? Um, I think last year was a like mm. big kind of year and we were living together and working a lot of hours and all that. But I got a concussion that just kind of meant that couldn't really do it all anymore. I've always played soccer. I started playing when I was like maybe four or five years old. But last year I just went up um, to contest a header and unfortunately landed on my head. So I had a headache for months, mm. months and months, feeling nauseous, like couldn't get my heart rate up. My world became very small very quickly. The concussion sort of spurred me going, it's time to get out of Sydney, slow life down, take stock of what's important. So Annika lives in Newcastle, but I still live in Sydney. I think it was probably something that I always knew I didn't want to be in a big city long term. Being able to reset life a little bit, I think a big part of that was so that I could, you know, accommodate a dog in my life and why wait? I guess then it is kind of important, Evie, you have some say in your new, you know, stepchild. I'd say so. Um, what sort of dog do you see Annika with then? I think a dog that, yeah, she can take to work, can hang out with other people there, she can maybe take along to the pub, be good. It's more about fitting in with her life rather than a type of dog. Evie, she's an awesome partner. If you need to debrief or you need an opinion, she's always got time and she's always going to care. She's someone that only ever adds to the lives of people that she's with. I'm not getting emotional. This is ridiculous. She's pretty cool. Well, we might go have a chat. Yes, we will be back very, very shortly. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. I'm excited. Yeah. Who are we thinking? I'm gonna float the one that I wanna start with, Bungie. He's so <laughs> handsome. He does look cute. So look, I have a real emotional attachment to this dog. I don't think he's ever been inside a house. I don't think he's ever worn a collar before he came here. He's got scarring on the bridge of his nose, I assume from fighting over food. He's just a little ball of stress. He's a dog that desperately needs this second chance with an owner that's gonna be understanding. And I have a feeling that that they're up for it. Considering his history, do you think he might be a bit too much hard work for a first-time dog owner? Uh, look, it, I don't think it's anything we'll know until we put him in the in the pen with them. And he's a Kelpie, so he's smart. He can learn. Definitely. But another good option I thought of was Monty. Oh, Monty man. He's so cute. <laughs> and he's a staffy. Ridiculous. He's really switched on already. I was going to say, he, I don't think, needs a lot of work because he's young. You know, he's already been quite socialised, I believe, with people and kids and other dogs. The only thing I'd say about him is he's already the size of a lab and he's only six months old. Yeah, and they specifically said they wanted a medium-sized dog, then that's, yeah, I don't think yeah. it's a good fit. I definitely think Bunchy is a great option and I really think they're up for this challenge. So I think Team Bungie it is. Bungie! Oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank okay. You. I know you're not supposed to have favourites, but some dogs have had such a hard go of it and come from such a, a rough background that you become really invested in seeing them in their perfect home with their perfect family. So we had a good chat and we think we found you a great dog. Um, I've actually matched you with one of my heart dogs. When you work in a shelter, so many dogs come through and you love them all, but there are certain dogs that work their way under your skin and you want them to go somewhere that Aww. just means a lot. So, <clears throat> well, he's very special. As you can see, um, he's a bit of a project pooch. So his name's Bungie. He's a little Kelpie. He's a Kelpie Aww. mix. Um, so he's got these huge brown eyes that just stare into your soul. And say, oh, please love me, please don't hurt me. Oh. He's just got so much pent-up energy here that he just wants to, like, let out into the world. I think, though, you know, if you want to sit on the couch and watch the soccer and have a beer, he's going to be the dog that wants to do that, too. That sounds so good. Isn't that a great Saturday night right there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to meet him. Hi, baby. What are you doing, Munchkin? Good boy. This is Bungie. He is a beautiful two-year-old Kelpie cross. 
to say hi. Bungie's been with us just over a month now. He's very, very intelligent and he's ready for training. Good boy! Since he's been here, he's seen other dogs, he's seen new people, he's seen new environments. So all of that helps build their confidence. <laughs> what are you doing? Bungie's going to be a really exciting addition to a home. He's going to bring a lot of energy and a lot of love. He's going to be the best cuddle buddy in the world. Bungie. Oh, as soon as I heard the name, I was like, you can't just fall in love based on a cute name. No, you There's can. There's more to it. You can. It is a cute name. It's so cute. Bungie. I played soccer literally my whole life. I never took a year off just because I loved it so much. So it's been a long process of kind of accepting what the concussion means. Kelpies are so keen to please and be trained and learn things. And... Yeah, they're so impressive. Yeah. With soccer, I know I'll get another concussion. It's just a matter of when. So, yeah, I've decided that soccer's, soccer's done for me now. <sighs> Let's do it. Oh, my God. Cute. I was trying to go to that next level and play you know, professional or semi-professional. You okay? Yes. I don't get to know how far it could have gone, so to just let that go. Um, yeah, yeah, it was tough. Gosh, could you imagine a year ago even considering something like this? No way. It's just a different life. Yeah. Soccer represented having a real purpose and goal that she was working towards. And so to then that being taken away from her was really bad. I think having a connection with a dog that is hers, that will really make her happy. Let's go! Oh, honey's away. Come on. She's got this. I believe in her. He needs his new home. He's been waiting long enough. Come on, sweetheart. Good boy. Ready? Good luck, Bungie. The moment on, of buddy. truth. Come on, buddy. Show them who you really are. Let's go. I know it's very new. Come on. Don't. Dancing in the dark, love. Never felt so true. Fur parents for two year old shelter favourite Bungie. Good luck, Bungie. The moment of truth. Come on, buddy, show them who you really are. Let's go. Don't. This is Bungie. Hi, baby. Hi, Bungie. <laughs> He's going to be a little bit timid. He's yeah. a little bit scared of new situations. Okay. Hi, we'll just let him have a sniff. Yeah. Oh, hi, good handsome. boy. Good boy. Good boy. Are you all right if I let him off leave? Absolutely. Yeah. There you go. Go have a sniff. I'll give you some treats as well. Thank you so much. No worries. Maybe try and hide them behind you or something. Hi, Bungie. <laughs> uh, sit down. Oh, oh no, you <laughs> found them. <laughs> Clever boy. He's very smart. He's so smart. All right, come sit. Bungie, sit. Oh, no, OK. <laughs> That's on me. He's like, please. He's really trying for those treats. Yeah. Yes, you're being good, Bungie. Eyes here. Sit for me. Good boy. He definitely looks comfortable with them. Yeah. What do you reckon, kid? And they look quite comfortable with him, too. Yeah. You know? Got a lot of exciting things happening. So much. <laughs> so much. <laughs> this dog feels a little bit like, you know, the start of this next phase of my life post-soccer. Oh. 
Oh, that was my mistake. Hey, hey. Mm. During that time when I was feeling really awful, we were so lucky because our neighbours had this gorgeous little puppy um, and a connecting fence. See? Oh, stop. Look at you, you little handsome man. Look at that smile. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I know it. You're so cute. I know it. So I would come home from work and just sit in the backyard for probably two hours and this little pup would just sit with me and really grounded me. Oh, oh, yes, oh, yes. She just kind of knew that I needed to chill and that was a really big part of just settling down from the day and going, all right, I may have lost a lot of things at the moment in my life. It may be a very small world that I'm living in, but this dog's also a part of my small world. So yeah, she played a big role. <laughs> There's so much going on. It's like 0.2 seconds between tasks. <laughs> You'll notice he can't focus on anything. So even in the pen with them, like yeah. he'll do two seconds of something and then he's off doing something else. Yeah. And it's all stress. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, oh, oh. That scared okay. me. <laughs> such a right. Yeah. He is a challenging dog for a first time dog owner. Yeah. yeah. I think Evie is worried about that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's see who they've got for us. Yes. Determined to fill the dog-shaped hole in their hearts are Dave and Shelley. Hello. Hi, how are you, gorgeous? Thank you, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> Welcome to NWL. And I'll start with you. Who have we got? Shelley. Shelley, lovely. And Dave. And Dave. And I'm assuming you guys are together. Yes, That's we are. right. Okay, <laughs> how long now? Uh, we've been, oh, next week it'll be 33 years married. Yes. Yep, yep. Wow, and was it her gorgeous smile that made you fall in love? Absolutely. <laughs> You have to say that. <laughs> Dave and I have been together for a very long time. I've known him since I was a child. So we've grown up together. When we were younger, people said we were too young to get married. And I was like, well, why? If you find the right person, then why wait? Um, and I knew I'd found the right person. <laughs> and now tell me, what kind of dog are you guys keen for? Something small. Fluffy would be great, because we love fluffy dogs. And who's got to make the decision in the end? Who's the, who's the one, I guess, that's more? Yeah. <laughs> And that, 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 like, friends, is the trick to a long marriage. <laughs> She's always her choice. True. It's true. I'm pretty calm and laid back. Shelley's a little bit more um, high strung. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> um, I'm late to everything. She's early to everything. So but combination they, it's is a good balance. quite good. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah the we might actually good. end up somewhere on time because we meet in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a sore cheeks by the end of the day from smiling. Too much smiling. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. Yes. Back in the meeting pen, young Bungie's bark and bounce are giving Annika and Evie cause for concern. <laughs> he is so funny. He can't, like, focus he on can't one focus, thing. No. He's like, I'm going to roll, yeah. and then I'm going to have a drink. And then before I finish my drink, I'm going to run, and I'm going to hit the fence. And then I'm going to kiss you on the face. And, and then I'm, I'm going to bark. <laughs> hey. Oh, dear. I don't think that um, Evie's very sold, though. I no, like Annika's probably going to have to do some convincing. I'm just picturing... You, I don't think you'll be able to take him to work with this much energy. Possibly not. But I wonder if, in a different setting, he's got a bed set up in a corner, he's able to just be like, OK, this is my chill time. And, like, the park is literally... It's, like, 200 metres away. Yeah. So on my lunch break, just be like, let's go, let's burn some energy and come back. <laughs> he is a challenge and he will be a challenge for that first, you know, interim period while he settles in. He still needs training and that's that's ahead for them, so I hope they're up for that. I got you. There is a lot going on. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How's Hi. it going? 
in. Yeah, good. Hi, buddy. How do you guys feel about taking him for a bit of a walk? We love to. Yeah, yeah. Bungie, you can leave the toy, baby. Come here. <laughs> I think meeting Bungie, he is such a happy, go lucky, friendly kind of dog. He's got a lot of love to give. Good man. Come on. You're all right. It is a big decision to commit to a dog that you've spent, you know, half an hour with versus what they're like in everyday life. So it's a big call. Um, one that I don't think we're going to take lightly. Hey. Yes, you're a handsome boy. <laughs> It's strange to think that your next family member's somewhere in the building, maybe. Yeah, mm. yeah, it is. Husband and wife Dave and Shelley are waiting to be matched with their perfect dog. Hey, guys. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Welcome. Are you excited about getting a dog? So excited. Yeah. <laughs> we're, dog yeah, we're dog people. Yeah, we're dog people. I'm that crazy lady that walks on the beach and says, can I pet your dog? <laughs> Dory, we are too. Yeah, <laughs> Dogs just make me feel happy. They fill your heart. So I think when you're going through tough times, um, it's that constant companion. And why is now, do you think, a good time then? And we've, we've moved, so we're re-establishing ourselves, you know, in a new house and a new area and... Yeah, it just felt like the right time. We'd been thinking about moving for a while anyway, but then five years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, and went through treatment for breast cancer, um, which was tough. So it was like, this is the right time, you know, and fresh start. And then afterwards you go, okay, now let's get on with life. <laughs> Tell us a bit about what, what you're looking for. Yeah, a little fluffy, um, yeah. something to cuddle on the lounge with. So that it fit on my okay. lap, you know, okay. fit on the lap. But I love cuddling. <laughs> and what about any deal breakers? We both with the allergies would prefer something that isn't going to lose a lot of hair. Okay, yes. so you both have allergies to yeah, long hair? Yeah, just like hay fever and allergies to fur. Like, okay, and have we thought about age of the dog? Well, ideally, probably nothing older than sort of five, because okay. we'd like to have a, a bit, bit of time. time. Just that heartache that comes from losing a family member. Yep. So as much as we want to, every dog deserves a home, I guess we also have to look after ourselves as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How'd you go? Good. Yeah, really cool couple. So yeah. we've got Shelly and David. OK, cool. What kind of dog are they looking for? Definitely a small dog. That's the idea I got off Shelly. She wants it to be able to sit up on her lap and have cuddles. With. Yeah. So anything that's not going to squish her. OK, cool. <laughs> what I found funny is they want a fluffy dog, but they yeah. both have allergies to long hair. Yeah. So that one's going to be a bit tricky, I think. OK, what are you guys thinking? What about Rolly? Oh! <laughs> He's very handsome. Ah, oh, look at him. He's 10 years old, he's a Pomeranian mix. He's a sweet social boy and calm and easygoing. A fluffy floof <laughs> with a charming <laughs> smile. The only thing with Rolly, he does have quite a bad heart murmur. Uh, so he will have to have heart medication for the rest of his life. I think he's a great match, other than his age, unfortunately. Who else are you thinking? Raph. Ah, oh, cute. So, Raph is a uh, one year, eight months Jack Russell cross. Yeah, he's a good size, he's young. He's a little pocket rocket, he's full of energy. And he doesn't molt very much? Just normal, I guess. Yeah, normal for yeah. a small, short haired dog. He's a good option, he ticks pretty much every box, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I think Raph it is. Cool. All awesome. right. Team Raph. Raph. Team Raph. Raph, Raph. Raph. <laughs> Sorry about the wait. Okay. We had a lot to discuss <laughs> and we came up with a little boy, yeah. a little guy. He's a Jack Russell cross. OK. And he's definitely the yeah. size that'll come up on your lap and give you cuddles oh, too. Yeah. So. Does he have a name? Oh, of course, he does. <laughs> His name's Raph. Raph. This is Raph. He's a Jack Russell mix and he's a little under two years old. Good job. Raph is a bit of a pocket rocket. He's got a lot of energy. But he also loves to just sit in the sun and have a cuddle, as you can see. My favourite thing about Raph is these cute, floppy ears. They're just absolutely gorgeous. My hopes for Raph is that he finds a loving family, a family that's going to play with him regularly and also just give him cuddles and the love that he really deserves. Do this. A bit of a wrap. Yeah. I 
totally believe in things happening for a reason, but I don't think anything can prepare you for getting a cancer diagnosis. Oh, look. Oh, adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. It was aggressive cancer and everything happened so quickly, you knew that it was serious. So nervous. Nervous about meeting it's a dog. Fun. I know, it's it's silly, fun. isn't it? I had five months of chemo. Then you go and have surgery. But then two weeks after you have your surgery, they're like, okay, now you're gonna start your radiation. So it was hard. Watching her go through that was just terrible, horrible for the whole family. You get clarity around what's important uh, in those moments. Um, um, but yeah. she powered through it like a champion and inspired all of us to, to surround her with love and yeah. get through that time. Come on, Raff. I've got those butterflies in the stomach. <laughs> Raffy, in we go. Just wait. Oh, so cute. Hi, how are you? Look at his tail, he's so excited. This is Raph. Love is. the face. He's coming straight over to say hello, actually. <laughs> oh, good boy, Raph. Oh, oh. Hi. Oh. Do you mind if I take his lead off? No, go for it. He's just tangling himself so quickly. Yeah, yeah. Go, Raffy boy. Come on, Raffy. Oh, Raffy. Look at him up on the chair there. So cute. Oh, you got him going. Hey, boy. Hey, hey. During my radiation treatment for breast cancer, my oncologist got the results back from the tissue they'd taken from the surgery, and she said there was not a cancer cell in any of it. I believe we both laughed and cried, because <laughs> I was just like, that's amazing. Oh, you snuggle by me, yes, you snuggle by me. The confidence from the doctors gave us confidence to to sort of start to get back on with life. <laughs> He's got the zoomies. He has got some energy going on. I believe in fairy tale endings. Raph, come on. So if that happens to us with this dog, that'd be the best. <laughs> Did you know? Oh! <laughs> oh. Did you see that? Jump! It was like parkour. Yeah. <laughs> parkour. Like this? Like this? Like this? Davey. More food. Yeah. He's got too, she's having too much fur. Hang on, mate. Sit down. What's she said? Too much fur. Oh, too much fur? Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, did you see when you're patting him? I'm sorry. He's gorgeous, but I feel like he's going to shed too much fur for us. That must be the proper deal breaker is the allergies. Yeah. This is where we stick to our pact. Oh. Okay? Okay. Oh, what's the pact? What's the pact? That they both have to be happy? Yeah. Which is a fair enough pact. Hello. Hello. You're a sweetie. Didn't you? You are a sweetie. Hey, I'm just, you're not the sweetie for us. I'm sorry. That's okay. You're a good boy, aren't you, hey? I gotta feel it, baby. Hey. Don't you? Sorry. I think it was just David. David would take him home. Yeah, Shelley thinks he's a lovely dog, um, but just obviously not the lovely dog for them. I think I might just go down there and see if they'd be interested in Roly. And I'll tell them everything what's going on, Roly, your heart memory and that, and see yeah. if they're interested in me and him. If not, then that's okay. Yeah. And I'll just go from there, I think. <laughs> Definitely entertaining. <laughs> Hello, hello boy, hello boey. Hey guys, how you going? Hey. Good. How you doing? Look, I'm Sam, one of the shelter managers here. Hey Sam. Um, <laughs> I just come in because obviously you've met Raph. Yes. Um, and I know yes. that's his first, you know, sheds quite a bit and whatnot. Yeah, um, yeah. And I don't think it's probably the right dog, no, as you're sorry. saying. We do have a, another dog as a backup. Um, he is a Pomeranian. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing though is the reason why we didn't match up because he's a bit older and we weren't too sure. How, but how old is if he? you guys are comfortable, he's 10 years old. So I guess it's more of a, if your guys are happy to give a dog a retirement home, I guess is the yeah, best way okay. to put it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The one thing he does have, he does have a heart murmur. Okay. Um, so he, he is on medication for that, but I just want to obviously give that option to you guys. Yep. David, I don't know, what do you think, darling? Um, Australia on 10 Play.
thoughts. We meet him, see how we feel. Yeah. You're open to I'm that. Open to it, yeah. Are you? Yeah. OK. Having turned down super shedding Raph, Dave and Shelley are weighing up whether to meet older boy Rolly. Let's meet him. Let's we'll yeah. see what he's like. We both have to be on the same page. I agree. No, no, I agree. So I hope he's a lap dog. This is Rolly. He's a 10-year-old Pomeranian cross. Pomeranians can shed. It's really just dependent on the dog, um, but it's a dog that you definitely need to be grooming regularly. So beautiful Rolly here has had a pretty hard last few months. His original owners actually had to give him up because they were going to go into a nursing home. When Rolly finds his new forever home, I think he'll be a bit more comfortable, a bit safer, and maybe not have as many worries on him as he thinks. Rolly, is that what he said his name is? Yeah, Rolly Polly. <laughs> Good boy, Rolly. Second time lucky. Come on, Rolly. She's still very allergic to the Pomeranian, though. Like, Jack Russells have more hair, Pomeranians have more fur. Yeah. Yes. So maybe she won't have the same reaction. Hopefully. Rolly, this way. Boy. Oh my god, he's so Hi, cute. Hello. This is Rolly. Rolly. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You are lovely. <laughs> they definitely seem more excited about Rolly. Like, yeah. first off, I reckon. Yeah, he's definitely got a different energy compared to Raph, that's yeah. for sure. Come on. Come on. Oh, hello. Hello. Snuffly boy. Do you like the treats? Do you sit? I wonder if you do. Do you sit? Sit? Oh, oh good, good boy. boy. What a good boy good you boy. are. Uh, good boy. Oh, Rolly. He's such a gorgeous boy. He is. He's such a good boy. Gorgeous face. Yes. Do you like a little scratch behind the ear? Hey. Oh, OK, or not. Surprised him. Yeah. Head shy. Mm. Yeah, a lot of dogs don't like getting pat on top of the head like that. Come on, boy. Here he Sit. Sit. Good oh, boy. you're a good boy. Oh, he's a clever No, he doesn't dog. like it over his head, oh, obviously. He is. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't like that at all. No. Maybe he's also just touch sensitive mm. in general. Rolly, come on. <laughs> OK, you like that one, do you? I think he likes a squeaky. Ah, he looks like a puppy when he does that. <laughs> Rolly, come on. That was a real breakthrough there, I think. Yeah, definitely. It's good to see Shelley starting to smile again now. Yeah. <laughs> so he likes to have a little bit of a play. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, it is cute. I do feel sorry for Shelley a little bit. I think she just wants the dog yeah. to come and sit on her lap right now. I've had two great dogs here. We don't know mm. whether they're content with either. <laughs> um, how do you guys feel about taking him for a walk? Yeah, OK. Yeah, awesome. Who wants to walk him? You can start. You... Oh, OK. <laughs> they haven't mentioned anything about him shredding in there. They look so good together. That is a bit cute. Like, I do think with some more time, Rolly does have the potential to be a lap dog, though. Oh, for sure, yeah. I hope he likes us. No, it helps to me. Could be persuaded. Good boy. Boy. When Sam came into the pen and said, we have another dog that we can introduce you to, that was a bit of a worry for us. He was older than what we had hoped for. Just about that. And then, obviously, I wanted to pat him and he kind of just kept shying away and my heart sunk a little bit. I was just like, uh-oh, I can't wait till we get It's certainly a lot to consider. We wanted to make the right decision for the dog and also for us. It was tough. But we brought Rolly home with us. Rolly! Rolly! Come on, Rolly! Come on, Nando! No. <laughs> it could be. You're a good <laughs> I would say Rolly's probably the most affectionate dog we've probably ever had. At times, probably too much. <laughs> His health condition worried me a little bit, um, but he's sort of demonstrating yeah. to us that he's pretty fit for his age. <laughs> Rolly's certainly exceeded our expectations, I think. 
He just loves people, he loves other dogs, he's just very, very social. You are a very good boy. We're really happy with uh, the way he's fitted in. Hello. Hello. Uh, he's just made us happy. Yeah. I think he's made us happier. Yeah, I agree. How good are you, babe? Don't drop the teeth. Ooh, a little spurge. Thank you. Yeah, which one's yours? This one's mine. When we saw the amount of energy that Ali had, it was like, wow. She's <laughs> going to need a lot of exercise. It was like this cork had been popped off the top of a bottle. It was a little confronting. I was definitely the one that was the most unsure. I just wasn't feeling she was coming towards us. I didn't feel like she chose us or me. So I was a bit worried if we do take her home, are we going to get that connection? It was uh, a very hard decision. But we brought her home. As soon as we got in the car to take Ellie home, that was easy, wasn't it? she sat on my lap and I got a connection straight away. <laughs> so it didn't take long at all. And I just love it a bit. Our lives have changed a lot since Ellie's been with us. She's a beautiful dog. She's a clever dog. She's a very clever dog. Mm. We've got her hands full, but yeah, she's so worth it. She's fantastic. Oh. It's so nice to have a dog in the house again. Yeah, we've missed it a lot, haven't we? Oh, yeah. The hole's yeah. been filled. It has. We're complete again. Absolutely. Next time on The Dog House... Oh, Safi. Will abandon Staffy Sweetie, steal some hearts? How's it going? Can senior dog George finally find a retirement home? Am I moving too fast? And will cheeky Dalmatian Neon hit the spot for the Allens? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>